friends welcome back my name is priyendra kumar and this is the second video for the data entry form tutorial in this video we will learn how to put the code on this buttons and the first part of this video we have learned how to design this form okay so now first of all i'll uh, rename this frame so i'll right click on this frame and go to the properties here we'll change the caption let's say i'm putting the caption data or anything else now uh, we also have created the seat one so i'll go to the view and i'll remove the grid lines from here now we have this data so i can remove this data also so first of all i'll put the code on this clear button to make the clear all the boxes or even so first of all i'll put the uh, code on this on the activation of this form this drop down should be created automatically so this is the combo box one and the code we will put on the activation of the form event so double click on the form user form you can see uh can remove this user form click event available now change the event i'll take activate and we can remove this click event from here so i'll use with me dot combo box one here and with so first of all i'll make clear this combo box one because otherwise each time uh, the item will be added in the combo box and that will, will be the duplication uh, of the items in the list so first of all we should clear this and then we can add item so first of all i'll add a item which is blank then i'll add item let's say agent then add item uh, let's say tl team leader and then add item am for assistant manager add item dm for deputy manager and the last one is the manager so let me check I, we can run this here you can see the drop down is available whatever we have given now we can put the code on this button so i'll go to the developer tab and i'll go to the design mode double click on this button and here we can put code add underscore form this is the form which we are working on dot show remove the design if i will click on this this user form will be displayed so we uh, will put the code on this clear button now so i'll take me dot tax box one dot value equal to blank then we can make a copy of this enter tax box one tax box two and tax box three so let me show you what is tax box one tax box two and tax box three so double click on this form this is the tax box one which is for the employee id this is for employee name and this is for uh, salary the tax box three this is the combo box one this is option button one option button two so uh, we are putting the code on this clear button so as soon as uh, i will click on this clear button all the boxes should be blank that's why i'm putting the tax box one and tax box two tax box three value as blank then i'll put me dot combo box one dot value equal to blank now i'll put me dot option button dot value equal to false option button 2 dot value equal to false now let me check this run this form let's put something and select anything if i will click on this clear button all the boxes should be blank so it's working now i'll put the code on this submit button so here on submit button first of all i'll use the validations which 
so first box is for employee id we will use a validation employee id always should, should be a numeric value so we will use if bba dot is numeric then mean dot tax box one tax box one means the employee id okay dot value is equal to false if a uh, tax box one value is not a numeric then it will return a false then it will give you a message which is please enter a correct employee id okay and then it will exit sir sorry and if so this is the condition one for employee id if employee id is correct then it will check the employee name so employee name should not be blank so we will use if me dot tax box 2 tax box 2 is the employee name dot value is equal to blank then again it will give a message we can copy this and we can change the message so message will be uh, please enter employee name okay and even we can give the message type as critical here also critical okay then let me check first this if i will click on this you can see please enter the employee id if i have enter any employee id which is tax then still it will give the same error correct employee id so let's say if i have enter any numeric value then it is giving me the error please enter employee name so if i have entered the employee name anything then it is giving nothing so let me put the rest code so now we will check where uh, gender has been selected or not so we will put a condition here if me dot option button one dot value is equal to false and me dot option button two dot value equal to false if um, nothing has been selected in gender option button then it will return true so then and if so we can copy this code again here we can put please select gender okay now we will put the condition for designation so designation should not be blank so we can use this again we only will change the uh, me dot combo box one dot value then please enter uh, or please select the designation okay now the last one which is the selly selly amount should be a numeric value so we will copy this one and paste it here and we'll change the tax box 3 tax box 3 is the selly amount please enter the correct selly now let me check if i will enter let's say correct employee id and the name then please select gender okay i have selected gender now then please enter please select the designation let's say i have selected designation and please select a correct selly or if i have given any selly in tax form then again it will give the same error so now now it's correct now we can put our code to check the duplicacy check the duplicate employee id if that particular employee id is already available there then how we can check that so first of all i'm taking let's say sh as worksheet and i will set sh equal to this workbook dot seats and i will take this one which is seat one and then let's say i'm taking them 
as long so here in n i'll take uh, first of all i'll check a condition which is if application dot worksheet function dot count if then we will use count if function here which is argument as range so range will be ss dot range a to a let me show you a to a means the employee id and the criteria will be me dot combo box uh, sorry me dot tax box one dot value tax box one will be employee id okay if it returns greater than zero that means that employee id is already available there then it will give a message which is this employee id is already available in database okay and we be critical here we will use exit so and if so we have checked the duplicacy also one if it is not duplicate then i will take n equal to ss dot range a and application dot rows dot count dot n dot xlog dot row this is uh, this code is to identify the last row so what is the last row in my data okay so n will be the last row then we can use our code to input the data so first of all we will unprotect this worksheet if it is protected so we will use ss dot unprotect then we will put password let's say i am putting password one two three four because i'll put this password to protect so we'll use the same password to unprotect this and here then we'll use code ss dot range a and n n is the last row and we will put our data on last row plus one okay dot value equal to me dot text box one so a is the employee id and the tax box one tax box one is this one which is for employee id let's see okay and tax box two is for employee name so we can uh, dot value we can copy this code paste it here we'll take v and n plus one and it will be tax box two dot value here i will use a condition if option but me dot option button dot value equal to true then um, here i'll take ss dot range which is c gender c and n plus one dot value equal to male okay so we can copy this and we can check if option button 2 is selected that means female is selected then we will put the value as female female okay now we'll put this d1 so we can use this on the column d d and we will use this combo box one dot value and for sale i'll take the last tax box which is tax box 3 so we can use that so for sale i'll take e and then i'll take three and now we have put all the data points so we will protect this worksheet again so we will use ss dot protect and the password okay so now let me see this so i'm putting any employee id a b c d let's say name mail designation any designation sell amount let's say 1000 and submit now you can see the result and close this and here try to delete this you cannot delete it because this worksheet is protected okay so nobody can change it manually again we can add a new record like this and xyz 
let's say i'll take uh, employee as the 100000 xyz female designation manager and the salary 1500 okay so let me submit this so you can see the result but as you are seeing we are uh, entering this but this tax box should be cleared and one message should be given so what i will do i'll go to the visual basic again and this so i'll go to the clear button first and i'll copy this code and then again i'll go to the add button and here in this add button at the last i'll put this code then i'll put a message box new record has been added okay maybe information now you can see enter anything one two three four a, a, a. any amount submit so it will give new record has been added and these text box now clear and one more thing we will check if i will enter one two three four same id again any name anything then it will give a message with this is this employee id is already available in database okay so it will not take a duplicate ent entry okay so friends now we will learn how to create uh, this uh, update existing record button to update the which we have uh, created which i have created in data sheet one i have shown you in the first part of this video and we will update it will be updated uh, these tax box will be updated automatically when we will change the employee id and we can update anything here so you can see the result to update an existing record so we will learn this in the next part of this video please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for the watching